Hey everyone, this is Austin Schur here with We Write About Music, and today I am speaking with AJ Estrada of Hotel of the Laughing Tree. The band has just shared a fantastic new track called Mirrors Up, and I'm super excited to talk to them all about it. AJ, I want to thank you so much for taking the time. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you, Austin. This is a real treat for me, so I'm really happy to be nice. here. This is a treat for me, because I think great music like this deserves to be broken oh, down and talked my about heart, and... <laughs> my heart yeah, my heart going obviously i mean we could just we can just get it out of the way right now it has been a long time since the band has let out music um and normally i kick off these conversations with like let's talk about the song what it's about but let's let's talk about that where has the band been what's <laughs> been going on why the resurgence i suppose yeah um Great question. <laughs> Where, <laughs> I'm sure there's a million different corrections. Um, listen, I mean, uh, quite honestly, like we, we, that was like our whole lives, whenever, you know, since we were like 19, 20, we're all in our 30s now. Yeah. Um, so we feel like, I don't know, we feel like so much older than I think we are now, just because like you start meeting like bands that are like younger than you or like, oh, yeah. People that, like, you know get famous just by playing music on tiktok so um the game has changed to say the, the game has changed and like just to answer your question where the band is now like we all we all were from long island but we all moved away nice gradually um so the core of the band is me um and then we have uh, my friend brandon and jonathan um brandon's in tennessee and okay. is in uh, boston so nice. we are geographically split up, but we, you know, I, I'm not going to like pretend like the pandemic was like a, a great thing, but like for, for us, I mean, we just, we just used all that extra time and like isolation to just like reconnect and, yeah, you know, this is like, this is like the summary of it. Like we, we just, we learned how to just like to talk and make music again, just um remotely. And that's totally all this new stuff in our like i don't know re reinvigorated passion i guess for, for <laughs> listen something. you are not the first person to say that and like have a similar story i and and i know it's you're so hesitant to say like oh the pandemic was good yeah i know listen i'll be i'll be maybe the first to say it like it gave me the opportunity to do so many things i had put off in life and make real changes and and you're kind of forced to like sit with your thoughts because there's <laughs> nothing else to do yeah. and it, now it really gives you the opportunity to do things so yeah as terrible as it was and still is it did and does have redeeming factors so but i'll even yeah, say yeah i'll even say like even before the pandemic like we our last show we officially played was like maybe 2018 i think so like okay. we were already like yeah. fractured and like kind of like trying to like you know we all kind of started working full-time jobs and trying just like like life stuff like yeah like we'll get married, all. <laughs> right. you know it's it's like so yeah. that was already happening before this pandemic the the pandemic happened and yes. we started um looking back at our stuff so we were already like kind of like spiraling for a little bit um but we but then we when whenever we came back together and we started um when this new music started looking like music we were proud sure. of and we wanted to put into the world i think we just all got very excited and that feeling of being a band um you know it never went away it's just like we kind of like had other things to do unfortunately but now now that we're back happens. but you're here <laughs> okay so we've we've taken care of a little bit of the past i'm sure there's a thousand more stories but yeah. you've obviously triumphed the hard times and you're here with new music and a yep. new album on the way, but I wanna I wanna talk about this song. It's fantastic, as I mentioned before we started recording. But I really like Thank it. You. It fully falls like in my wheelhouse of what I enjoy musically. It doesn't stick to one genre. It incorporates so many styles, and it is just fun. Like it's a fun sounding song. Oh, so, so happy to hear. Yeah. So I want to hear from you. Like, what's it about? What inspired this? And yeah. Let's just hear. The okay, yeah, goodness. it's uh, in short, it's. I keep going back to um, saying it's it's just us learning how to to how to be a band again, or sure. more importantly, how to be friends again. Quite quite uh, honestly, um, not like there was anything bad. It's just like 
we like I said we were not in contact or oh. like we were it was just like it wasn't like um the relationship was still there but it was just like very just like i don't know every few months we kind of like say hello to each other kind of thing which is like was sad yeah. to me like, i have friends like that too and it's unfortunate yeah you move away uh, yeah I, yeah I get it's it. normal. same normal. situation um it's so a bad the, normal but it's normal yeah yeah so the song is like i mean i think on the surface or the core of it is just like reflection like it's just like yeah just taking stock and like just kind of like looking at these relationships i mean i very like personally like i i feel like i i struggle a lot with like keeping people close just just for those reasons just like 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 people move away or people spend their time doing something else and i i'm very hesitant to reach out and make contact even though i know like when i do or when someone does with me, it's always so welcome. And I don't know, I'm, sure. I'm trying to get better at like, just like, just reach out and check in and just say hello. But yeah, so a lot of that is wrapped up in the song, just kind of like re rekindle and reconnect with people. But I think um, more so maybe it's even about like recognizing change. And um, when you do all this like reflecting or like sitting with yourself for so long, it's like, mm -hmm. there has to be a point where like you, uh, accept it <laughs> I hope uh, like, totally so I think like the ex the acceptance of change is is a huge deal absolutely because I can like spend all my time like thinking about like the good times and like um looking at myself and trying to like I don't know get find the silver lining of like a bad situation um but if I don't accept that I it's kind of like there's no progress there. It's kind of like, it's, it's hard, but it's hard. I, know. I think that's what I'm trying to get to. It's like, it's hard to accept these things. Like things change. Sometimes um, it's not how you, you want, <laughs> but ultimately it, it kind of happened for a reason. It's like, this is how it is now. It's that, I don't know. That thought process is kind of like where the song lands for me. I get that. And listen, as messy I, as that sounded. <laughs> that's okay though. Because, I mean, you know better than anyone, like, people will listen to your music and they'll listen to it for the way that it makes them feel. Not yeah. everyone is going to take the time to connect the dots within your words, which is why I hope that they listen to this and can actually, like, where did this stem from? But at the same time, people will also listen to your words and make their own connections and have no idea what you're talking about, which is kind and of the weird power of music. At the same I love time. that. I love yeah. that, too. But and in the past, to be honest, again, like, I, I never, like, I think I struggled with like what I was even trying to say in a song and like people yeah. would go to me and be like, we really love your enigmatic lyrics. And I'd be like, <laughs> I don't know. I right. mean, great, but I don't even know what I was saying there, you know, but, yeah. but now I'm, I'm trying to make conscious efforts to like really figure out what it means to me. And if someone else listens to it and feels a certain way about it, Hey, I, I would love to hear it. Like, tell me, what does the song feel uh, to you, how does this feel to you? I don't, I don't care if it's totally different from what, how, you know, yeah. what I ever intended. It's great. Thank, thank you for listening. That's the main. Exactly. Thing. <laughs> That's the exactly. main thing here. Yeah. Um, and so obviously, you guys have been hard at work here because you have an album on the way. And I would say it's a coincidence, but it's probably not a coincidence that the album is called Far Away Friends, which is like the most aptly titled name of all time. Hearing the story now. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Are the rest of the songs, or I suppose, is this song indicative of a similar sound on the rest of these songs that are about to be released? Yes and no. I mean, there's okay. a kind of like, um, you know, the, the the themes I feel like are really, it's, it's similar to a lot of the themes on the album, but musically, um, sure. it makes sense in it, but there's okay. we go a lot, in a lot of different directions. Um, if anyone has listened to our stuff in the past, I guess that that won't be news to them because we kind of like, we're always like right. know, going all over the place. That's okay though. The, the, you should be going all over the place. We just get bored so easily. Like we get, we well, that's get okay. musically very <laughs> easily. No one has any attention spans anymore. <laughs> I know, I know. It makes you happy. I know. So so there's a lot of, a lot of different paths on the album, but it all kind of like, if you do listen to the whole thing as it's intended, like it, it does make like a sense to be a package like that. 
Okay. Well, yeah. in that case, then, uh, if you had to sort of summarize what this whole record is going to sound like, or it's like, hey, if you like this, you're going to like this, what yeah. would you say? Um, it is, um, it's kind of, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a dark one you know it's it's it's, yeah. it's moody it's like um cool it but it's like it's like uh it's like that moody teenager that grew up and is like you know an adult but like still can be like a yes. little brooding but like musically um i don't know man like i i think all of us have so many different tastes but like me personally when writing this like i was listening to like a lot of bruce springsteen um during the uh great pandemic which which is um and i could hear that in this song too really oh, I, oh I, I, mean, I i i love him now but i grew up like like actively avoiding him because my my parents loved him so much so it's yeah, kind of just totally maybe this plays into like the teen the moody teen thing but like it does you know, i just <laughs> i just totally like i was like let me just like uh take a walk and like listen to my mom's favorite band and like <laughs> totally totally like smitten you know yeah so it is it's always been hard for me to describe what we sound like and maybe even harder for like people trying to book shows with us but um right <laughs> but, hey, i mean that, that's one of my main influences for sure on this if that if that helps nice well i love that um yeah. i think i think though in kind of putting this thing together especially remotely there has to come with complications and so this isn't necessarily like a two-part question, but I think they come together. So were there complications in doing this remotely, but also did you find that, I guess, piecing a sound together was more difficult with other band members' opinions on where you guys wanted to head with your sound? Well, I will say, um, honestly, it was so much at least the beginning parts and the middle parts were, were so much easier because it was oh. so natural. It was just like, nice. as soon as like, um, Brandon or John, like offered up an idea, like it was just like, you know, it just everyone go, go a hundred percent on this stuff. And like, we, we, right. we just got quickly, um, very into what we were doing and, okay. and, and excited about it. And then I think the challenge and stuff came later when we had to like, <laughs> when we realized like we were going to actively release it as a as a as a project and hey this is a this this is a hotel album now this is like a real right. thing yeah had to get a little more like all right not so precious with everything it's like not everything we make is 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 deserves to be listened to you know it's like we got to cut some fat here and uh be a little more surgical with some things and i think um in the past that would have been really hard because we were very precious about everything we made, I think, or, yeah. or, had, or had opinions about it. But now um, I'm hoping this answers your question, but like we, when met with like, with like challenges, like sure. um, this song doesn't belong here, or maybe could you do this better? Like, I think we took a very like, hopefully adult way and democratic approach to this stuff. And like, I, I lean on those guys so hard. And I think it just goes like, for all of us, like we respect each other and like, I want to make sure everybody is in love with this stuff as much as I am when we're making it. Totally. So if someone feels weird about this guitar line here, I'm going to take another look at it. Where in the past, I probably would just be like, <laughs> like right. get in my feelings and be like, why does he like that? You know, like. <laughs> so, no, I agree. It's like the introspection of it all. It's it's tough because obviously, yeah, it's a band. You want everyone to be happy in that sense. But you don't want to take it too seriously to where it feels yeah. like a job. But yeah, then you like also want to have fun it. because you're making music. And that should be the most freeing feeling in the world. Yeah. And and also just to tie this, yeah. this part, because I think this part maybe answers your, your question more specifically. <laughs> like the okay. I know. It's just like I was it's trying okay. to think of like the challenge here is like we have we don't have the ability to really play shows at the moment. Right. with this lineup because we're so scattered mm -hmm. um so it's trying to like make this feel special to us even though we're missing such a huge element of what goes into like a release right like normally we'd be playing a bunch of shows now and promoting sure. so we have to find we have to get extra i think creative with that stuff whether it's like you know more videos and more live stream kind of things 
Yeah. I don't really know. Well, is, there, is there a possibility of it in the future? Like, is it something that you want to do and that you guys would? Oh my God. Yeah. The energy. I, I want that more than anything. It's, okay. it's logistically like yeah. figuring out what, what does the live band look like? And I think we're, we're just having those conversations now. So we'll see, you know? All right. I mean, listen, I, I still very much consider us at the beginning of the year. There are so many hopes and dreams that I'm sure you have. Yeah, but it's yeah. exciting because it's new again. And, I'm, you know, the break must have been, I mean, it was eight years. That's a long ass time. But also, you know. It's, it's a lot of, like, catch up, too, which, yeah. which is the worst. It's, it's a new like, energy. Like, I went on our, like, YouTube channel the other day, and there's, mm -hmm. like, nothing there. It's like, like what? Like, <laughs> it's just barren like, little we even, Like, we made a lot of videos, but for some reason didn't upload anything. Like, we were so... Oh. I don't know. I was just like, why didn't we t tend to this more? Just yeah. like stuff like that, you know? Yeah. You're younger. You don't care as much. Yeah. Something like that. Yada, that yada. Stuff. Yeah. Totally. Well then, okay. That's a perfect segue to this. Like I said, I still very much consider us at the beginning of the year. And so even though things are still being fleshed out, what are some goals that you'd like to hit or some things that you foresee happening? Okay. Um, so I'll just go with that again, where it's like, if we play one show this year, I'd be so happy. You got to do one show. I know. I you got to do one. Like, you guys not, are not that scattered. I Yeah, right, right, right. Not that bad. It's just one. Not like an open mic, me playing an acoustic guitar thing, although that's, sure. that's fine. I like that, too. Yeah. But a full band proper show. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's the goal. And then the other goal is, like, I don't want to lose this momentum we have. Like we are so yeah. excited about this. I, I'm, and we have albums under our, our belts that, like, I know it happens when stuff is released. Sure. And I fall into that, like, okay, we're done now. Now I can like go. I don't know. Go play video games for like three months or like <laughs> right. what, you know what no, I mean? Yeah, you don't want to treat it like another check mark in your life. Like you want to no, carry on with it. I get it. I want to make sure we build on this. We already have so much music that like yeah. we have a whole other album we want to tend to and put out. We have like oh wow. We have, we have stuff. We're like over we're like bursting at the seams. So I don't want to get like nice in a place where we're just like not doing anything. And I think they yeah. all I hope they, they're okay with me speaking for them. I think we all feel the same way. I think they'll watch this and be happy with the result. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about this, though? Is there is there an unreleased song on this record that you're most looking forward to playing in a live setting? One that you think is just going to set the room off? Yeah, I mean, um, I think we're going to put this out in like two weeks. It's a song called Ducks in the Flood, and it's like, okay, that really sums up a lot of <laughs> whatever we I think I was feeling about this but that's like it's like our most maybe accessible kind of song but also it's just like off enough that like it feels it feels very true to to, to us in the band at this point in time I'm yeah. excited I'm, I'm really excited about about that and I'm excited to, for it <laughs> yeah I'll be happy to send it to you please your, your, please yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely yeah. Listen, the one, the feeling that I've got from this is that there's so much like hope. Like I've, I've <laughs> talked to a lot of people, but no, really like, and I've, and I've had the chance to talk with people that have reunited after years of not making music together. Yeah. But this feels like a legitimate spark. Like you're obviously so happy to be doing this and the music speaks for it. I think one thing that can't really be taught in making music is how do we make it feel fresh and filled with passion? without making it feel manufactured. And yeah. when I describe it as sounding fun, I legitimately feel like the fun is being transferred through the music. And so yeah. oh, that's, that's the selling point for people to listen, but but also like you can feel like, yeah, we've been waiting a long time to do this again. That's such a high compliment. I I I've, I, I always got in my head in the past about like fun, the fun part of it. Cause yeah. like it was always fun for us Sure. But there were definitely times, especially like with our live shows and like growing pains, like where like yeah. I felt like, oh my God, like I'm not having fun on stage because I'm like upset about like my my performance and my guitar or some bullshit. And yeah. then like I get in my head like it translates off the stage because I know it does. You know, it's like you can tell when yeah. people are having fun or really into it. So I've tried very hard to like let that go because like we have so much fun together and I want that 
I want people to know about it. Like it's just of course. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. From my perspective as an avid concert goer, very rarely I'm like, that guy looks like he's having the worst time of his life. Oh yeah. Ninety yeah, percent of the time. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well shit. I could pull up some old videos, man. Yeah, all right. Um, maybe. But, maybe I'm... No, no, I, I I understand. Yeah. I'm also way too yeah. hard on my nose. Yeah, well, that's good. You should be, because if you take it too easy, then you're not pushing yourself, and that's a whole other conversation. I, I do want to say real quick, like we we just put out a podcast ourselves. Nice. So take 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 it easy on us, because we're we're newbies at this. That's okay. Um, but but um, it's it's it goes through every album of the band, and wow. every because we had so many different lineups, and yeah. we just kind of reflect on that, and we kind of just talk about like fun stories and like times we had, and it's like. We just wrapped up the last episode recording it, but we're, le- we're releasing them uh, every Tuesday. Sweet. And the response I'm getting is, man, it's a lot of people are like, man, like you guys, it's really comforting. And like, there's a lot of fun here. And I'm like, yes, that that's it. That was the goal. Whatever people are hearing in this podcast that I didn't expect anyone to listen to. Right. <laughs> that is what I'm trying to um to build on. I love we're just, that. We just, we're, well, we just well send me the links like, and we'll, I'll obviously include it in the article I want people to oh, check for sure, out yeah. too. Um yeah. AJ, my last question for you here is how I like to wrap all these up. But it's basically for the person that is going to discover you guys from this, what is an opening message you'd like to say to them before they listen to your music for the first time? My opening message would be um you know, have a little patience because we we do a lot of different things we do we and um <laughs> i think i think if you want it if you want to put this stuff on just to like go on a road trip or just like blast it loud in your car it's there for you there's there's a lot of catchy stuff here but cool. there's also just like a lot of like i don't know little deeper things if you want to sit down with the lyrics and like get all like <laughs> I hate to use this word again, but like moody about it. But like, okay, it, there's there's a there's there's two different like mindsets at play here, you know, or, or on like, and I think it's just like how I like to listen to music because I like to listen to it like loud with like, without really like, you know, paying too much attention. But then I also like sitting down and just like being That's like, right. what, the, what the hell is this guy talking about? You're making multi-dimensional music that isn't just music to listen to; it's music to like dive into and experience. And I think that's it's a more elegant like way of saying it. And I will probably um, steal that for our um, hey, press release. <laughs> quote me all you want here, <laughs> um, AJ. I want to thank you seriously so much for taking the time. It means a lot. Um, I'm excited for future music, but please let me plug this song once again for you guys. Um, oh, yeah. Missed it the first time around. It's called Mirrors Up. We'll have the links in the articles that you can listen and share and follow along and do all that fun stuff. And obviously there's so much more slated for release this year and beyond. So now is the perfect time to to really immerse yourself in the music. Yeah, awesome. we're going to try. I think this was great. Um, I want to thank you so much for your time. I hope you have an amazing thank rest you. of your day. Go enjoy the Brooklyn sunshine. And um, I'm glad, so I'm gonna try while I can. But thank you, Austin. This you're is, very welcome. This has been more than um, more than fun. <laughs> cool, I agree. Yeah. Um, awesome, man. I'll talk to you later. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Be cool. good. Bye bye. You too. See ya. <laughs>